Now to this, a look tonight at wildlife laws after videos surfaced on social media showing a group of people in Indian Trail. Now witnesses say these people were taking babies from a family of wild geese in a shopping center. A local rescue shared these images from this past weekend with us in hopes of generating tips on who these people are. Tonight we're verifying the rules for interacting with this type of wildlife. The videos from Indian Trail have some folks asking if the images show what witnesses said happened, would taking these wild geese actually be illegal? Our sources are biologist Fallon Owens with the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission, Jennifer Gordon, founder of Carolina Waterfowl Rescue, and the Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1918. Any any wild uh, birds, regardless if they're geese or ducks or, or songbirds, um, it's important to know that they are protected by federal law under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, which really gives them a lot of protections, regardless of how common they are. The Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1918 says you cannot kill, capture, sell, trade, or transport protected migratory bird species without U.S. Fish and Wildlife authorization. Canada geese, which bird experts tell us the birds in question appear to be, are one of those protected species. So we can verify taking wild geese without government approval, like a permit, violates federal law. Alongside the videos, Carolina Waterfowl Rescue released a plea. If someone took any baby geese this weekend, please bring them to the rescue and it will reunite the families. Which brings us to our next question. Would the birds reject their young because they were handled by humans? I think as long as they're in good condition, chances are not bad that the adults would sort of adopt them. And that's actually an old wives tale that um, you can't touch birds um, because you can. Um, most birds don't have a well-developed sense of smell. Um, they're very family oriented and they they babysit other geese's kids. And if if, if like if if I'm a goose and my brother dies, I take his kids on. Um, they basically really um, have such a strong family bond. So we can verify, no, geese would not reject their young just because humans handled them. State wildlife officials confirmed they are investigating reports three people picked up goslings in a CVS parking lot in Indian Trail. So far, no charges have been filed. And don't forget, we're here. If you have something you'd like verified, you can always email us at verify at WCNC.com.